everyone and welcome back to another soap video. Today I'm going to be doing a elegant soap. Well, what I think is elegant uh, black and white soap. So the fragrance oil I use today does actually discolor to a brown. So I am going to do a activated charcoal, charcoal, sorry, um, layered soap. Um, with goat milk. So I'm going to be adding goat milk in as my additive instead of coconut cream. So let's get started. In here I have my um, Tussa Silk, sorry, Tussa Silk's in the lye solution. Um, and in here I have my sodium lactate. So let's get this mixed in and we'll go through the rest as we get there. I'm going to add in my goat milk so the instructions for my goat milk is goat milk powder is to add it in at um, light trace not to uh, freeze and use as the lye solution so i'm attempting these i haven't this is my first time using goat milk um, and i'm hoping that it doesn't scorch by doing it this way All right, let's split this off into three um, containers. So I am splitting it off into three. I'm doing two layers of activated charcoal with a white layer in the middle, which will have no fragrance oil because it discolors. I probably should have added some of my batch oils into here first, but I forgot. So hopefully this incorporates nicely. Okay, I've actually changed my mind. I'm going to fill these up a little bit more and have more of the black. I probably should have measured these off properly, like weighed them out to get a more accurate um, amount, but I've eyeballed it. It's only for me, so <laughs> we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'm going to start off with the one color. Now let's see if we can get this mixed in. Definitely gonna have to stick blend this one a bit. And I might actually have to add more. We'll see what color this comes to, how dark when I um, stick blend and get fully, oh look at that at the bottom. Get off the bottom. Three. We'll blend this quickly. Now that's better. So as I said, I am using activated charcoal. Um, and the reason is because I quite like it on my skin. Now I have oily skin. Um, and I like the feeling of the activated charcoal on my skin like all the soaps all handmade soaps that, that well I've made or other people uh, other soap suppliers I have purchased off of like small business homemade soaps are so much nicer on the skin now the activated charcoal ones I find a, I have more of a clean, clean feeling um, not so oily and kind of draws out the oils so let's get the fragrance in here so the fragrance i am using is vanilla patchouli sandalwood well and sandalwood it i love the smell of this one i quite like it and like i said now this does discolor to a dark brown like very brown because of the vanilla in it i'm not in 100 percent sure of um the percentage but it also says that it um, exhibits minor acceleration or mild. Now in here I've also got my kaolin clay. Give this a mix to combine it. I'm 
a hand mix this one in. Oh, it smells so good. It actually has a quite of a creamy note to it from the must be the goat milk. It smells a bit very nice and creamy. Alright, let's get this first layer poured off. So I can try and get a nice smooth layer or level layer. Got to show you the activated charcoal that I am using. Can't even get it in focus. There you go. <laughs> so I want to wipe down these sides because I don't want too much black on that white layer. I want to try and keep it as nice and crisp as I can. For the white layer, I've just got titanium dioxide and I'm going to add in some little poppy seeds just for exfoliant. So I'm not putting any fragrance oil on this one. I am going to add a little bit of puppy seeds quickly. Just a little because this isn't a very, this isn't going to be a very thick layer. I may have poured too much into the blacks and the white. But we live and learn for next time. Let's do this layer. And to start on the third layer. And let's pour our third layer. Now to finish off, I'm going to add some botanicals. And I've got red rose petals. I found an Etsy company, um, Hosea Farm. I'm not 100% sure if that's how you pronounce it. And they do a lot of organic dried flowers. And I'm going to add some nice rose petals on top of the black. I thought that would be stand out. So I'm just going to open this. It's always good to support small business, um, especially with the way the world is at the moment. So I like to purchase my organic um, botanicals like um, the rose petals or just dried flowers of calendula um, off of my off of Etsy to support those companies now I'm going to attempt I'm wanting to do let's see I want to do I want to do like um, a different kind of top so See if I can cut this. I'm gonna do a crisscross pattern. I'm gonna do that there. Let's see if this works. Well, I buggered up that. It's always good to try new things. That last one went a bit skew if. Now I'll add the rose petals. That probably done nothing. <laughs> it's um kinda like crisscross. 
But anyway, we'll add some rose petals on there if it will stick. Let's see if it will stick. And then to finish it off, I'll just spritz it quickly. And there you go. I'm wondering if I should add a little glitter to it. Hmm. No, I think I might leave it. <laughs> so I'll let this sit up and I'll be back after 24 hours to cut this mold. A uh, loaf. Cut this leaf. Hi guys, we are back to cut this beauty. I am so excited for it. I love it. It is so nice. All right, let's get this cutting. Now, I may place this on the side. Um, I'm not, I haven't done a lot of cutting with this new cutter and it has the rose petals on top and I don't want them to drag through. I might try it this way first. We'll give it a go and have a look and, oh no, it's going to drag. Okay. So, but this is the inside. It is adorable. I love it. Oh, I'm so excited. And it smells so good. It's very creamy from the um, goat's milk, but the fragrance itself. So I'm loving it. There's a little bit of the poppy seeds in it. All right, I'm going to shut up now and cut the rest. If you can't tell, I am super excited about this one. That's better. So you can only see the drag marks there. If I get in a little closer, if it will focus, it might be too close. Um, you can see a couple of glycerin ribbons in there. Um, but it is awesome. I love it. So cute. Um, I thought I'd just quickly show you, you can't really see much of that um, crisscross detail on there. I was just mucking around um, as I've made this one specifically for myself um, and just seeing if I, what it would look like. So it's a good little experiment. Thank you all for watching and thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate and even the comments, I appreciate the feedback I'm getting. It's been a great community of people. I, it is so um, heartwarming to see the people that are joining through. So i like to thank everyone again and I hope you have a very soapy day.